here we are, day five of Blues Fest, and we're all bloody exhausted. Um, I've just got a few questions for these guys. We're going to run a bit of a conversation just around um, what it's like to be on Crossroads stage. Uh, each of the stages is slightly different, but here's a good insight behind it. Um, so we might just start with roles and responsibilities. How would you describe your role? Um, I suppose you'd call us stage crew. Um, so we're involved with the logistics from the moment the gear rolls off the truck. Uh, getting it into its allocated areas, obviously keeping things very organised. Uh, building risers, building the kit up on the risers, uh, rolling out risers, getting it all connected, getting off the previous risers and packing it all away. And when you say kit, do you mean drum kit or do you uh, mean...? Drums, uh, keys, guitars, been working with guitar techs, keyboard techs, drum techs, so just whatever the uh, crews come along with. Great, and so responsibilities, um, is there certain things that you've been held responsible for? <laughs> Hopefully not. Um, uh, well, mainly I think you're just taking a bit of accountability and asking stage managers what they need. And if you get a bit of clarity, just rolling with that throughout the week because as you get a better understanding, it's good to just sort of be accountable for what you're doing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the main things are really packing, unpacking, making sure everything's tidy and getting a clear understanding of what your like objectives are. So terminology is a big one for me. Did you find that learning the terminology was something that you, a hurdle you had to cross early on? A lot of it's hard to take in, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Like, co coming from someone that like has not had any experience in live sound, I think it's really important if you don't understand any words, just be straight up in asking because everyone's really understanding if you don't yeah. understand. And as long as you pay attention and then move forward with that, everyone's happy to answer questions. Great, perfect. Um, who, is, who is your main line manager, I guess? Who's the first point of call for you? Uh, I suppose it'd be, well, depending on what's going on, but I'd go generally to Casey, who's the tech on the floor in regards to all the equipment and things coming out. Um, and then above him, we've got Bob, who's the floor manager. If Bob's got an amazing coordination system going. When you're running six or seven bands in a day, um, he sort of described it like a Chinese tile game where you have to slide certain tiles around. You can never turn them, everything's on 90 degrees and it's basically just shuffling, how can I get that box over to here in the least moves possible? So there is a lot of, lot of coordinating and logistics involved with thinking 10 steps ahead, yep. and knowing where that case is gonna be in five hours, yep. and making sure it's there and things. Like, there's a lot of logistics in that. Yeah. yeah, fortunately Bob's like really all over that yeah. in, and it's more like just following his instructions is really important because he knows down the track like a day or two in yeah. advance. So as long as you're listening to instructions, it keeps it pretty simple. Yeah. And above Bob? Above Bob I suppose we go to, well it depends if we're dealing with the audio guys, we've got three different techs over in the audio section. So we've got someone running monitors, someone running sort of front of house and someone running power essentially um, so we could either go to those guys and above Bob we've got Sean who's the stage manager essentially and he's the main liaison with the artists as well and everyone on stage so we meet with him every morning and we have a little toolbox talk for about 10 or 15 minutes and um, check in for the day just be aware of anything that we need to be aware of like today day five obviously we need to be aware of our fatigue so just being aware of all of that and staying, staying alert staying hyper vigilant so I mean you know workload wise though you are looking what we've we done on average 14 hour days with 17 hours being the biggest day so you just really got to be on top of uh, keep yourself healthy keep yourself hydrated um, yes yeah, so I think it's just so important when you get really tired is to just embrace it and understand that everyone is there for each other um, and to take your time because rushing sort of ends up in, yeah. in like injury and stuff like that so just to keep calm and if you're tired that's understandable we have had a couple of cases of injury out here, right, which is bound to happen. It's been fairly minimal, but um, I guess the most important thing there is to report it straight away. Yeah. Put your hand up. There's no point in holding an injury or yeah. going on to hurt yourself for future. Yeah. Have you had any fun? Oh, the whole time's been fun, really. I mean, it's <laughs> exhausting and fun and delirium all tied into one. So I suppose, yeah, it's, it's, it's like one giant big night out that runs for five nights. And you don't know whether you're Arthur or Martha at the end of it, but... Um, <laughs> No, it's good, you know, and like, you know, I'm, I'm not a spring chicken. I am a little, little bit older and <laughs> it's been interesting, like um, being humble and, you know, having heaps of humility. You realise if someone's yelling, get the F out of the way, just get out of the way. Don't take it personally, you know, and then you'll find five minutes later they come up and give you a little shoulder rub and go, how are you going? You know, so there's nothing. Yeah, you just got to be humble. Yeah. I think it's really important. 
Yeah. yeah, it's pretty important to not, like everything's been super ch- Oh no, what was the question now? Are we yeah, having fun? <laughs> yeah. Having fun, yeah. So much fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's been amazing. Like we were side of stage for Iggy Pop. Yeah. Nora Jones played on a grand piano, which is amazing. Funkadelic I got last cheering. night was insane. Epic, yes. Like just one giant big party intergalactic costumes. party on yeah. stage. And there was a du- I, I won't no, go on a tangent, no. but um, <laughs> I <laughs> was like, <laughs> <laughs> my life is B- B- roll. <laughs> um, but it's been um, like this is my first live gig ever, and it's been really approachable and not intimidating, and learnt heaps and been fun. So I highly recommend it. I think it's just really important for people to remember that you know you're volunteering because you're getting an awesome opportunity. Yeah. Like it's a huge amount of learning available here, and the people that help facilitate that are really supportive. Yeah. yeah. Great. Yep, it's hard work, but I guess rewarding at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think that's about us. Um, it's just a quick behind the scenes. Thanks. <laughs>